horses spend a lot of time without us. And I think sometimes, what is it that I can do to give this relationship more meaning? Maybe bridge that gap. Sometimes just a walk in the woods, handing out hay, touching all of them, seeing where they're at that day. It might be the piece that makes a difference later on in my ride. Horses naturally are herd animals and understanding how they work and react inside the herd is important. They're very emotional and being able to live in a herd and exercise those emotions I think is a healthy part of what we offer to keep the horses in their natural environment so that they can be more emotionally fit in our environment. Here we've combined the human environment with the herd environment. So as I walk out to bring in the horse I'm gonna to ride today, I'm taking him out of his herd. Yet anybody in the herd who chooses to go with us is welcome to come as well. And you can see somebody already volunteering, already knows what's coming and wants to be up for I'm maybe riding double today. <laughs> Hi, baby. I like grooming my horse and uh, taking care of him while he's not tied. He's eating his supplements right now while I get him ready to, to ride or to go warm up, but he's free to move around and the other horses are free to come and eat with them. And this helps my horsemanship. If he wants to move around, I have the work to do to make him want to be with me. Or when he has a friend near him, then I can choose to chase his friend off or let him stay. And it says something about our relationship if his friend is allowed to stay and how comfortable he is with me and with the other horse. I like starting my work on the ground. Uh, it gives me a really good idea what kind of relationship we're going to have that day, where my horse is, what I have seen in the past, and what I see um, today or in that moment, and what are the things that I think could help the horse and help our work and development. Uh, our balance. I look for a lot of things on the ground and then um, I try to work on them a little bit. Kind of gets me ready for my time riding. I like to see how we're communicating, how that feel is working its way down the line how my horse is responding to it. I like to work on his strength and his balance. I like to watch the shape of his body as he does the different maneuvers that I'm asking. See how he uses his body, see if he's holding back somewhere or if he's really giving me everything. 
if he's holding back or he's not interested, it'll change the way I do things. I'm definitely against boring my horse. I want to keep him thinking all the time. I want to keep him interested in what I'm doing, but also challenge his movements. See where he's comfortable. How he's interpreting me. See if he's confident that day or if he's distracted in any way. It'll change how I do things. I like to practice um, things inside of things. When I step him up on the bridge there, I'm actually practicing my trailer loading. When I back him up there, I'm practicing backing out of the trailer. Oh, little things that I'm going to need later on, I'm going to practice. Not just about going around in a circle and popping over a, a little jump, it's right there. Can I get his attention and then let him relax after he exerts himself a little bit? Can he bring his emotions back down? It's about the shifting gears between things as well. Those are the transitions. There's transitions in everything. You know how, how horses work out of a barn and in cross ties and grooms. You know, we work out of a pasture with you know, not a lot of tying and single ties and no grooms and herd life. So, it's a little bit different, different dynamics. I think everything means something. How my horse walks up to the mounting block, how he comes in and steps close so I can put my foot in the stirrup easily. That cooperation in his willingness to cooperate at that level uh, is something that I pay attention to. I like to spend a little extra time at the mounting block, giving little treats so he has to stretch his neck around, but mostly it's about just hanging out at the mounting block and not getting on and walking off and, and the emotions coming up right away for the ride. Trying to think about the things that I do and bring the horse's emotions up when I want his, his emotions to come up and then also bringing his emotions down as well. And these are the things that make the difference at the end of the day. Spending time at the walk just connecting to the horse's feet. This is a big part of what I do. I like to, to connect to the horse and at the walk. I think when that connection at the walk is good, then it transfers all the way up the chain into the higher levels. warm my horse up over Cavaletti's. Um, I really feel that the stepping over the poles on the ground connects the horse's emotions back to the earth, back to the ground. It also helps the communication between the horse and the rider. So if the horse wants to be a little bit distracted, the Cavaletti's will bring their emotions back to the ground. It's a great way to 
get the horse connected to the rider right in the beginning. Lots of cavaletti work, lots of pole work, stepping over things. This is my way of taking a trail ride in the arena to put poles out for the horse to step over and make lots of different turns and, and different ways to go over the pole to keep them thinking and using their body. I like to oh feel my horse when I unsaddle him and see if he's still connected to me. Can tell you a lot about if you were successful with your um, work and to see what kind of frame of mind he's in when you're all done. If he's still with you, he still wants to hang out with you. You're 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 doing well. If you've disturbed him and he's disconnected and doesn't want to be with you, then there's room for improvement in your relationship riding and in your communication. I love it when they want to be with me. And there's a herd outside of the arena and he could easily connect with the herd and what is going on with the, the activities inside that herd. And uh, really makes me feel good that he's comfortable with this herd of two and willing to stay connected to me. There's a great satisfaction in seeing the way our horses work out of a herd and having a whole herd or in our case a whole barn that works barefoot out of a herd. Um, it's taken a lot of uh, knowledge gathering and understanding to be able to do this. 
just a really rewarding thing to see how easily it comes now after the years of learning experience that we've had, how we can make this work, this natural life and this human life kind of coexisting together.